guys, I'm Katie Nolan bringing you all the headlines that you need to know for Thursday, January 24th. A Danish magazine is redefining the phrase naked fish, and Subway is now getting sued for coming up short. All that and more right here on your Gaiism Speed Ramp. You knew it was probably coming. Two men from New Jersey are actually suing Subway over the fact that they call their footlong subs footlongs when they aren't actually a foot long. They're seeking compensatory damages and a change in practices. I'm just glad to see men finally admit that an extra inch really makes a difference. The guy who used to be the voice of Charlie Brown back when he was nine years old has been arrested for stalking and making death threats now that he is 56. This would never have happened if therapy was still affordable. Scotland launched a new tourism campaign and it features Shetland ponies in cardigan sweaters. Oh, they look so adorable. I just want to squeeze them. But, I mean, in reality, you know you don't have to go to Scotland to see horses dabbling in fashion. Danish fishing magazine Fish and Fry ran a fish girl feature that contained photos of naked girls doing things that you like to see naked girls do, except with fish. I'm really weirded out. I'm sorry. I like boobs as much as the next guy, but if this is turning you on, like, that's concerning. We should not be encouraging fish and vagina to have a relationship. But quick question, what do this girl and Manti Teo have in common? They both got catfished. Speaking of good old Manti, his much-anticipated interview with Katie Couric airs today. Saw a little preview of it yesterday, and I gotta say, smart outfit choice, because it's making me think of your girlfriend. Because you blend in with the couch and it's like you're not even there. Justin Bieber has finally surpassed Lady Gaga and he now has the most followers on Twitter. That makes sense that they're the most followed people. I would follow both of them just to see where they lead me to the men's room or the ladies room. A guy in England might have to get his penis amputated because he got wasted last week and had sex with a snowman in the middle of the street and his dick got frostbite. That sounds like it's for the best. Like, if I had to make a list of people who should probably continue their lives without a dick, he'd probably be, like, number one. Possibly number two, just because there's a really strong case for this guy, since we really don't need him reproducing. A new study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine has concluded from a survey that condoms don't make sex less enjoyable. Full disclosure, they only surveyed that guy who fucked Frosty. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta is lifting the ban on women serving in combat roles. Say what you will, but this is a good thing. Because tell me the last time you saw a woman concede victory. I'll wait. Shakira had a baby boy Tuesday night in Spain. She named him Milan P.K. Maybarak. Which, fun side note, Maybarak is Shakira's last name. I didn't know. You didn't know. We learned things together. Wait, go back to that picture. Are those mountains? Well, who put mountains on her chest? Why would... Oh, okay. I get... No, they're just boobs. I was just confused. This never used to be a problem. And that's gonna do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know which part made you laugh the loudest. And if you haven't laughed yet today, I'll throw a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your Thursdays. Head over to my Facebook, which is here on this little... It's funny because when I do this, I'm pointing at nothing. Uh, because viewer emails are happening tomorrow, and you guys are gonna ask me some questions. It's been a while since we've done this, so come up with some good ones. Enjoy your days. Love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. Guys, this is not a paid endorsement, but I need to tell you about something that happened to me today. I discovered that there is a service that delivers you things from convenience stores. I'll say that again. It delivers you things from places that are already really convenient. It makes it more convenient. I don't know if it's in your city, but here in Boston, it's called Happy Speedy. and. <laughs> It's, it makes you very happy, and it's very speedy. You can get White Castle frozen burgers delivered. You can get TGI Fridays frozen appetizers delivered. You can get milk delivered. You can get condoms delivered, tampons. I'm not saying these are things that you need to, I just, you might need those things. You might be in a situation. I got Easy Mac delivered. That was like a 45 minute rant about convenience store delivery. Cool, cool life you lead.